I'm smelling the roses. I want to wish everybody a happy 2022 from Cindy and Graham. Jaunty Van Loff. We love you all and we hope that everybody has an awesome year. Prosperous health-wise and wealth-wise. Yes. In 2022. Oh, what's this, babes? This is a hooter, believe it or not. Comes out of an old shed. <laughs> it's so cute. So I want to replace this little modification that I put in here, yeah. which is beep, 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 beep. To this one. And pop, pop, pop. Okay. I think I must actually show you how it works. I'm going to put it here. It's not nice, it's loose, but it should make a pop. I need to skip past here so I can go and press the pop, pop, pop. Am no, I going to faint? Go out the other. Am I going to faint? No, you're going to skip. Because it's right in my face. old hooter. So now it's in a different place? Everything can close, yeah. it's not touching Fantastic. anything and, and it's heard it. fussed like a, like a bowie. Okay, it looks like a little ball. Yeah, it's a little it's rusty a helmet. ball. What and did you do? It goes yes. all the way around. Oh wow. It's just taped it up against the pipe. Yes. It goes to the switch inside the car. Okay. And then the other side is the earth. Okay. Which is earthed here. Okay. Perfect. I need to put a bit of paint where we are grounded there so that it can earth properly. Okay. Let's put a bit of black paint there. Mm. Fantastic. In a minute. Okay, so what I've done is I've made a rail that goes on top of the sliding door here because it keeps dripping down as you walk out. So all it is is a piece of tiling edge plastic and I've siliconed it up there. Just a little bit past the door so that it doesn't drip. I think this will work. Yeah. It seems, to be, it seems to be on the Peugeot and the, the Renault and everything's paid. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. Mix well. Yeah. So we climbed into cupboards in the kitchen and we found this old juicer from like 35 years ago of Graham's. It is so quaint, retro, cute. I love it. Then we had my birthday on the 26th and celebrated with my kids. And my son Dave got engaged on Christmas Day to Sophie. Reaping beautiful tomatoes from the garden. Only half the carrots from the garden. Still a whole lot more. We're going to make coleslaw. I found a small cabbage in the garden. So today's coleslaw and a bra for New Year's. Happy New Year, everybody. Our little titchies are at the top. Lots of them. There's seven. Does this remind you of the old days? Yeah. It's December, we shouldn't have so much wind. August is the winds. It's our first clear day in how many how many weeks, hey babes? That the sun is just not out in this blue sky, but we've had rain. Just about every day, partially clear, but mainly cloudy with rain. So Graham's making the most of this. Rest job. Yeah. This is where Graham's done. Okay, well, I've had it. to do here as well, where the window was yeah. bashed up, but they put ply and things in to get the window out. They scratched it and made it rust. Uh, 
decided from. Okay, so this is the finished result. Graham fixed the whole side, so we won't have rust now. Yeah, and the wind was so bad it pulled the paper and it touched the paint. Yeah. I'm not going to point it out. No, okay, but it doesn't matter. I won't, I won't point it out. <laughs> okay. It's where the tape landed, so I'll let sure. you just try and polish that up. Yeah. Hey. It looks good, eh? At least it doesn't, I don't feel bad about these ugly black spots no, it looks and beautiful. on the top. Okay, so this is my little homemade test bed. This is my two uh, buzz bars off my uh, 12 volts at home. So I'm just testing this fan to see that it works properly before I install it and it doesn't work. Uh, it's a bit of a mission to get these wires in. Okay, so this is my little test bed, like I said, where I connect onto the buzz bars. This is the little switch that's going to be off where it is now. Press this one first speed, press the other one second speed, like this. First speed. First speed? Second. Okay, blow your hair. That's the second speed. I'm blown away. It's not much different, but there is a slower revolution. Oh yes, I can feel it. In both. Explain where it's going. This is going in the vent on top of the roof. I can't get a fan, so I'm using this fan, and I like using old scrap that have been collected since I was a lighty, so it's an old generation mixed with the new now, <laughs> and it works well. So yeah, I nipped this little piece of PC board off, which has a whole lot of resistors and crap on it, I mean things on it, doesn't matter, no. and that gives me the top speed and the bottom speeds. Okay. So this is my test bed. Okay. What do you think of my test bed? I do. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> you see, Graham's an engineer. I have to play with electronics. It's my baby. And he keeps all the old stuff. I the first attempt failed. When I was a small boy, yeah. for one Christmas, I think I was about eight years old, my mom and dad gave Santa, sorry, Santa Claus gave me a electronic set. They had little springs between with resistors and diodes and all kinds of things, but there was like springs. So you take your wire, bend the spring, put it in, and it would hold it there. And I would make all kinds of things radios, water levels, alarms, sensors for light, the darkness, to put lights on, anything. I had a whole program of things that we used to do, and I enjoyed it so much because I love electronics. So yeah, this is just messing around. <laughs> now we're in the van. We're going to van it out. And I've got this thing operating in two different speeds. Not much difference, but there is a difference. The next thing I want to do is make it, it's now running this way. So it's sucking it in from the top. I need to reverse it so it goes the other way. And as DC is one of the nice things about DC is it can run both ways just by changing the polarity. So I'm going to change the polarity at the back here somewhere. Not down there, this needs to be polarized, the input. Okay. So I'll change the polarity so that it runs backwards and forwards with a, with a little switch in it. Okay, I'll film that when it's ready. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so what you doing? Morning, Graham. Morning, world. <laughs> I'm busy. Modifying this fan, I have already. I've just got to glue it so that it's nice and straight. There's a little bit of slack, so it goes a bit wobbly, but I'll sort that out. That's the motor I've got on it, and I've made a bracket there that goes onto the frame, so it's going to rest on there. Uh, I don't have it here, it's in the car. There's another bracket like this going on the other side, oh, okay. and it gets all these bolts in there. So it's all going to be clamped together. Okay. So it can't wiggle around or anything. Yes. It'll be fussy. These wires, there is a little groove that I can put it through. Okay. Uh, a little railing so it won't be in the fan. And then I'm going to have to just glue it to the side of the of the actual vent. Yeah. And then these wires come out and it travels that far over the ceiling. Ah. And then it's right by its, it's, right by its little connection. This is a top, that's where it comes out of the 
out of the screen yeah with the, the vent mm -hmm. and it goes that far and this here is the shower door on top of the roof oh okay so that i'm going to push in there yeah and just around the corner all this uh, that's why i haven't cut this all these things need to go on there oh, okay this is a little chip that i got and this is the switch one speed two speeds and now on this side that's where the power goes I want it from there and there I want to put a forwards and reverse so it flips the polarity of the motor. Okay. Okay, are you gone yet? Bye, I'm gone. <laughs> this is the bolts. There's three. One here, one there, and one there. This is the channel that goes here, it's plastic. And there's another piece of plate that I've bent, not with a join yet, solid on the other side. With, so those, that'll bolt everything together. Interesting. With it in there. Mm -hmm. Like that. So it can't go anywhere. Hello. Okay, what I've done is I've installed a fan in this um, vent here, but it's only one speed and it's really fast. So what I've done is I've incorporated a whole lot of little gift gifts here. Uh, potentiometer and a CMOS and switching and all sorts of things yeah two-way switch so what that does is I can switch it on and I can change the direction um, of the actual fan that's sucking in if I turn it the other way that's blowing out oh wow so it's sucking it out yes and this is this potentiometer potentiometer when I put a little cap on we'll be able to turn it so we can go flat out or go down a little bit lower fantastic and that's both ways oh wow you can suck fast and suck slow or blow fast and suck blow slow so yeah now I need to sort out all these little um this is the switch for it over here this is the main switch okay to switch the fan on okay if it's on low it won't come on. Uh, you have to get a bit of potentiometer there. So now it'll blow. Uh, let's see that potentiometer. There it is there. Okay. It's got a cap to it though. I didn't bring it. Oh. I've got it mounted. All of this gets closed and it gets fitted up there so you can use it here. Well done, babes. Well done. Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's uh, January and we have beautiful flowers. Oh, it's so nice. The whole garden, if you just pan over there, you'll see our whole garden is multiplied here. Look at the veg patch. Yeah, it's awesome. Just shoot around there, there's a couple of oh, yes. roses there as well. All along. It's beautiful. Okay. Thanks for watching, and we ask you to like, subscribe, ring the bell for new notifications of each video that comes along, and help us on this ride.